okay move on to the next slide now let us talk about the final uh, discussion of ours it is uh, about the slipped dna now what do we mean by the slipped dna so these names are actually helping us uh, to learn a lot actually because again the name suggests uh, slipped dna is is some uh, is, is a part of the dna which is formed due to the slipping of uh, some part of the nucleotide uh, sequences inside the dna totally confusing right <laughs> so now let's look at the structure uh, look at the picture here so we have this uh, uh, picture 5 prime to 3 prime and this 3 prime to 5 prime so again uh, this normal picture now what we have here we have the direct repeat direct repeat regions uh, 1 and direct repeat 2 and again uh, we have the complementary that means direct repeat 1 and 2 that's something like okay complementary now what happens uh, as we are having only the direct repeats that means for example if we are having only a stretches of ad adenine here in the opposite side we will we'll have the stretches of thymine so what happens if some part of this adenine in this strand bulges out something like that so this part uh, bulges out and be cutted like that then what happens still uh, the opposite strand is able to make a bond with the rest of the chain because uh, there are lots of same type of uh, nucleotide bases are present there right so as we see in this picture so there are stretches of a until here stretches of t up, up to here so what happens if anything happens here if any part of the here deleted or uh, newly added then it, it, it do not create any kind of trouble uh, uh, for making the hydrogen bonding between these uh, bases because uh, they are still can form bonds uh, due to the presence of this complementary nature and the presence of this poly uh, base sequences or polynucleotide sequences okay so this is called this, the slipped DNA because the part of the DNA sequence here we can see are being looped out, are being slipped uh, uh, due to, uh, uh, at the time of uh, bond formation. These parts are get slipped. That's why they are called the slipped DNA and the formation of slipped DNA. Okay. So in the same process we can uh, we can see at this point. So some region of this point can be slipped and make a bulge uh, out structure like that, a structure like a balloon here, and still uh, uh, the rest of it is able to form bonds. Okay. So this is the same way how how, how the slip DNA can be formed. Now, what is the consequence? What are the important factors to make this kind of slip DNA? First thing, we have to have the polynucleotide sequences or the stretches of polynucleotide sequences. That means the same type of DNA sequences one after another uh, to have this kind of bonds. So same nucleotide sequence or whether A or T or C or G whatever, we have to have same types of sequence. Unless we are having the same types of sequence, we cannot make the slip DNA portion. Now, the slipped DNA portion helps uh, for the frame shift mutations. It helps in, uh, in, in incorporation of new code. It, uh, that means in the production of new amino acid to make different types of proteins. Sometimes it may uh, needs to form a different uh, a mutation which is helpful, which is positive in nature. Sometimes it will pro process uh, um, uh, uh, anticodon and that will uh, result in the termination of protein synthesis. And uh, that can also be possible. That, that will shorten the actual uh, polypeptide sequence. So this kind of negative impact can also be shown uh, as a result of this slipped DNA formation. Now sometimes inside the cell, the formation of this kind of slipped DNA is really, really important to incorporate mutation inside the cell. Because as we know, mutations are the key players to have to gain variety, to gain variations. And these variations are the very good ornaments and the variations are the jewelry for, uh, for surviving in the natural selection process as we know so it's all about maintaining uh, itself maintaining uh, the dna structure maintaining the dna diversity in uh, in uh, inside a cell throughout the evolutionary history as we can see here we have a template strand from 5 prime to 3 prime we have a newly synthesized strand here short and what happened when uh, when sometime something happens as we can see stretches of g and uh, stretches of a whatever we can see stretches of g in, uh, a in this place so one of this a is getting uh, just bulged out one of the a is getting slipped uh, during the production of the other strand or the newly synthesized strand okay so one of this a can be uh, in this case is slipped 
so this kind of slipping can be uh, happen due to the uh, uh, due to the fault during the uh, replication process during the dna replication process so due to some kind of problem the uh, or the arrangement of the beta clamps and all these things all this polymerization techniques uh, some part of uh, this can be hampered or some part of this can be slipped out and as a result of this slipped out a set of different uh, dna is being formed like this so this dna as we can see here and after that what happens after the disruption of the hydrogen bonds between the, these two complementary DNA strands, we can attach newly uh, newly synthesized new types of uh, nucleotide bases and to make different types of DNA strands. So what we are forming after end of all this to make different types of DNA strands which are non-canonical in structure which are having these bumps so we, we call them the slippy, slipped DNA. Now the slipped DNA sometimes may lead to the positive effect to make a positive mutation sometimes they lead to the formation of negative mutation as you can see incorporation of uh, and uh, codes that are not coding for any protein that will stop the, uh, the transcript translation process and that will stop the production of proteins inside the cell. So they, this is a thing to control the replication and as well as the pr protein synthesis process inside the cell. So uh, that's why the presence of slip DNA is really important inside the cell. Now these are some negative consequences of uh, the production of the slippage of DNA during the replication uh, process as we know. The presence of uh, ret uh, retarded uh, three base pair DNA sequences inside the DNA to make the slippage DNA uh, in a number of human genetic diseases can be caused, uh, including the fragile X syndrome as well as the Huntington's disease, which are really, really very famous diseases. And this kind of disease can be done according to the only three base pair flipping, three base pair slippage. These diseases are characterized with the expansion of nucleotide triplet repeats that appear within the near specific genes so these are really really very dangerous genetic disorders that a person can achieve uh, they're just because the slippery of DNA okay so the slippage of DNA is not at all very very much important but sometimes it can incorporate new mutations that means new variations which helps uh, a cell to to maintain uh, the, themselves in the evolutionary context Okay, so that's all and I hope that's going to help you. Thank you.